Hey everybody, Mr. Moffitt here. I want to talk to you today about one of the forces in nature that we can see, that we can encounter. Uh, so I've got my basketball here. Uh, I want to talk about centrifugal force. Uh, so centrifugal force is when we have an object uh, that spins like this ball or like the globe, the earth. Uh, and what happens is that when the ball or the globe, the earth spins, there's force that is applied. And we want to think of that, uh, it's running through, that force then moves to the center of this sphere. So whether it's this ball, whether it's the earth, it moves to the center of this sphere. Uh, so imagine if this ball was on a rod. So I want to show you what centrifugal force looks like. So I'm going to apply this force and you're going to be able to see it. So when this ball spins, you will see centrifugal force. And so that force is going to move straight through the middle, uh, like just like there's an invisible rod going through it. And we can see that demonstrated when we do something like this. That's centrifugal force. And now we can keep it going. Okay. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is centrifugal force, one of the forces that's applied. That's why when you uh, get on, uh, let's say, I don't think they have them uh, many more, but uh, not a merry-go-round, but it's a sit and spin where you just spin the thing really fast, uh, that it's going to throw you off unless you're in that center. The force is less in the center than it is on the outside. So one more time, if I can do it, that's why we can spin a ball on your finger is whoop, centrifugal force.